Hello, this is Dr. Minarsik, and I want to make a brief five-minute movie to tell you how incredibly easy it is to record your own lectures, even from home, uh, in order to make these lectures or videos available for your students if your students don't come to class or you don't come to class. Now, you could make these lectures either right here in our auditorium number four, or you could make them at home if you have the software installed. Now, the software that I can give you to install in your computer, if you don't want to use our regular computer, is called Camtasia 2019. And uh, as you see, I'm going to be pressing the button here, and there is a little orange icon there called Camtasia 2019. Now, as soon as you press it, you see there's a highlighted area, and that's the area that's going to record your screen. You could make it uh, big, you could make it small. It's whichever area of the screen you want to record. Or you could press the full screen button right here, and it'll just record the entire screen if you want to make things simple. Okay, so now that you have the area that you're going to be recording, which in this case is the entire screen, the only other button here that you want to press is your audio button, because you can see it says there is no microphone plugged in, because do not record microphone is checked off. So the only other thing you have to do is to get your microphone remote, if you want to dance around while you're uh, giving your lecture, and you can plug in your USB device. This is a wireless USB remote microphone and headset, but only we are using the microphone part. And then once you put it on and you start showing your PowerPoints and uh, talking, it'll record everything within that field of view. Now, just to make sure that we are actually recording now, you have to make sure that it recognizes your microphone, which in this case is a Logitech. And now that you've clicked off the microphone and you tap on the button, supposedly, hopefully, it will start recording. Uh, let's make sure that everything is working here. Uh, I have also checked off to record the speakers, which means not only will everything you say be recorded, but everything that might come out of your computer speaker will also be record, recorded as well. I'm going to click on this one more time, and I might have to press the on button. How do you like that? <laughs> that helps. And now that the on button is pressed on, and it says it's recognizing my microphone. When you tap on the microphone, you could see you're being recorded at a nice level. You put the microphone on or put it in front of your face. And remember, uh, the whole screen now is being recorded. If you just wanted to record a part of the screen, you could click the custom part and then you could take this custom part and uh, move it around to whichever your desired size is. In this case, it's a little bit smaller. If you just want to record a part of your screen that has the PowerPoint area, here it is, being really small, okay? So now that you have your recording field, now that we know the microphone is working when you talk, and now that we know that we have the record system audio as well, in case you want to play music or a video during your lecture, it will record that as well. You are ready to start. So once you press the record button, it's gonna do a countdown. Three, two, one. So right now we are recording everything in our selected field of view. So if you want to open up uh, all one of your PowerPoints, and I'll just borrow the one that I'll see here, and now that the PowerPoint has activated, everything within this little field will be recorded. Uh, if you want to point to something on the PowerPoint, it'll be recorded also. And then when you're done with what you're saying and what you're showing and what you're pointing to, 
And remember, you could be doing this from your uh, kitchen table if you want to, and you don't need internet as well. Now you close down your presentation, you could say goodbye, you could include a picture of yourself on your PowerPoints, uh, and we can now say by opening up that little uh, orange button again, stop. Bingo, we're done. How do you like that? It's that simple. And once it stops, another program will pop up called TechSmith Camtasia. And once that program pops up automatically, you don't have to worry about opening it, it will then uh, show the first frame of what you were recording. And if there's a thing that says uh, check for upgrade or that, you know, you just tell it to go to hell. So there we go. So it records your field of what you were talking. It records the time that you talked. And if you happen to be playing music in the background, it'll record it on a separate track as well. But once it does that, guess what? You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is close this down and click on the X and say, no, don't save the production because it's already being saved and it's being saved in the directory, which is called documents. How's that for convenience? Let's see if we can find our documents directory. Let's see if we could click on one of these buttons and find documents. And it will name the recording under Camtasia Studio, I believe. And look it, it'll even give you the date of the uh, recording so you know that that is yours you can change the name of it to you know tumors of the esophagus or whatever so that is the file that you will then give to me or compress later but you don't have to worry about it because your movie your video your lecture has already been recorded in high quality sound and high quality video much better than if you were streaming or if you were even in the classroom. Now, here's the point I have to make to you. There was a list of multiple programs like Zoom and so forth and Facebook and Google this and Google that. You do not, you do not want to talk live to your students because that is not good quality audio and video. That's streaming. What you want to do is make your lecture and then once you have your movie, put it online to your students, put it on your server, put it on Canvas. So please remember that. There's a big delusion that you have to be there live. By the way, all of the servers like Zoom and Facebook and Google, they're all flooded now anyway, so you won't be able to do it. So just make a good quality movie and then send that movie uh, on your server or to Canvas or whatever you want to do. If it was small enough, you could even attach it to an email. And we are done. And I hope you agree, this is an incredibly easy way to not have to come to school, the building, to teach your students. And neither do the students. Zach, I'm finished. Thank you.